Take us through that day, birdieing three of the last four holes, including back-to-back -back birdies on 17 and 18 to capture the win. Kind of what was your mindset, and how were you able just to make so many birdies out there today? Um, I, honestly, I have no idea. I was rolling the ball same as I was yesterday, and you know, I, I was actually making putts today, which was really nice. And then um, on 16, I had a 34-yard putt from literally one side of the green to the other. Paula putted first and hit it to like two feet. I just looked at her. I was like, can, can you come and putt mine now, please? I was like, I don't want to putt this. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think that that was really key to make par there. Um, and then, you know, I hit a good iron shot on 17, and I saw Stacy was still 18 under, and I was like, all right, I, I have a chance here. Um, so all I was thinking was just, you know, picking my lines and just concentrating on my lines. I wasn't thinking about, I need to make a birdie, need to make a birdie. And I think that really helped. And, you know, 18, wow. I mean, I hit a four iron, 200 front, and I ended up on the back of the green. So I didn't really know where that came from. And then, you know, trying to figure out where to drop or not to drop and picking up wires. It was kind of nice distraction, to be honest. You know, it, it, complete, it made me laugh and I wasn't thinking about what I needed to do. And it was, it was actually a really nice distraction. Have you ever had a situation like that where you've had to have people hold up <laughs> wires for you no. to be able to putt? No, it was like double dutch. So I was like just jumping over wires, people holding on to them. It was really funny. Questions for Jessica? Raina? Um, I didn't let it get to me. You know, I've I hooked a bunch into the water this week. Um, I've hooked a bunch just in general. Um, but you know, it's just it's just another shot. You kind of have to forget about it and move on. And I might have shanked a shot yesterday, but I birdied the next hole right back. So you know, I definitely w wasn't looking back. I just kept looking forward. I wasn't difficult at all. Um, played with Jack Nicholas, actually. I had the pleasure of playing with him a couple of years, uh, 2012, actually, beginning of the season, before I left Australia. He always told me, um, a bad putt is still better than a bad chip. Always a good thing to remember. Yes. You've talked. Where did you play with Jack? I played with him at the Bears Club two years ago, I think. Ye with that. You've talked so much about your swing changes and, and what you've been doing. How much were you able to kind of put those out of your mind this week and really find that golf swing, and especially today, and be able to kind of put together the round that you did? Um, you know, I was really trying to keep everything behind the ball. So if I was working on something, you know, whatever kind of trigger I had, I had it behind the ball, and then I went and worked on it on the range after every single day. And I talked to my coach last night. And I was telling him that my swing felt a little odd. And he goes, yeah, you were going back to your swing ever since the seventh hole. I was like, oh, that explains a lot. And that doesn't <laughs> All my bad shots came after the seventh hole. So, um, you know, I just went back onto the range and worked on it there and kind of just forgot about what I had to do and just was really concentrating um, at my targets after basically I got to the golf ball.